welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can take an interactable object and change its tracking type to track rigid body so the rigid body collider won't pass through any other colliders in the scene. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. Thanks to all the existing patrons and those patrons who are at the relevant level for a video shout out, you'll see your name scroll up on the screen. Thanks for your support. So we're in the scene that I used for creating the interactable object and I've made a copy of the interactable pig and we have this copy over here. They're both set up the same way at the moment. I've renamed one to transform and one to rigid body so I can show the difference between the two. However, at the moment, one is set up to follow transform. They're both set up to grab offset a precision point, which we also covered in a previous video. And all we want to do now is on our block pig rigid body, we're going to change the follow tracking from follow transform to follow rigid body. And that's all that we need to do. So let's jump into the scene and see what that affects. And now we're in the scene, we can see if I pick up the pig that is transform tracked, it moves nice and consistent with the controller, but we can pass it through objects such as the table. It doesn't interact with them at all. However, if I pick up the rigid body tracked pig, we can see it has a little bit of a lag behind the controller. However, when we try and pass it through the table, it's actually using physics, so it won't actually go through that table anymore. And that's the difference between a rigid body tract and a transform tract. I hope this has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below, and please consider becoming a VRTK patron. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.